So what exactly is tutorial hell and what is the root of the problem? So first and foremost, tutorial hell is just you doing tutorial after tutorial after tutorial and still not understanding how to build anything. Now the reason that is, is because when you are just following along a tutorial, it's kind of like building a jigsaw puzzle. Or if you're doing martial arts, it's kind of like doing a drill, but not actually stepping into ring into the ring and fight. You see, tutorials show you a way of building something. I don't know, build a uh, Twitter clone with React and uh, whatever, Flask on the back end. Again, the problem with that is when you're actually building real applications, you actually have to think about things. You have to understand uh, the environment in which you're working. You have to understand if you're doing web apps, you have to understand the web, HTTP, request response cycle, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If tutorials don't go into that, they don't teach the concepts so that you can flex those conceptual muscles as you try to build things, you never get there. So people get caught in uh, the training wheels aspect of tutorials and they're worried about actually jumping in and start and to start building things. Now the thing is when you're learning how to code and you actually step in the ring to start building actual projects, whether they be a full stack project, uh, back end, front end, or even building uh, just some server side automation, etc. The process of building these things is very, um, it's, it's, it's a little bit artistic in the sense that you have to come up with ideas and solutions. Uh, what you've done in tutorials will not reflect on the realities of these projects. Why? Because projects have different requirements, there's different infrastructures, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not saying tutorials are bad, they're fine, but only a very limited degree. In fact, in my own training program, Studio Web, I pulled out most of the tutorials. The ones that are left in there are simply because people demanded that I keep them in. But at the end of the day, the way I train people in my mentoring group is you learn your foundations so that you can get your foot in the door, and then you wanna start building real projects. Now the projects you first build are going to be simple projects. You're not going to come out of the, out of the uh, gate, uh, so to speak, and you're not going to come out and go, hey, I'm going to build the next Instagram now. It doesn't work that way. You start off with something simple. Do simple little projects to flex those colder muscles, and then step by step from one project to the next, they'll become more and more complex, and then you'll start finding yourself building very complex systems. Again, one of the misconceptions out there is that you're going to do a bunch of tutorials and then you're going to step out there and be able to build Instagram. I like to make a fighting analogy, a boxing analogy. Now, I could train you how to box, teach you all the basics and fundamentals, and then I'll put you in the ring. But I'm not going to put you in the ring against uh, Mike Tyson or Floyd Mayweather or Conor McGregor. I'm going to put you in the ring with somebody who is uh, you know, not so good as well so that you can, somebody easy, so that you can develop some skills, you can develop some ability. So same thing with software development. You don't want to go in there trying to build the biggest thing that you can think of. So to summarize, tutorial hell is someone who's caught up in insecurity. They're worried about or they don't know how to take that step, to step out of the cookie cutter, step-by-step -step provided framework in a tutorial, they don't know how to take that and turn it into real coding. And that usually comes down to a lack of understanding in the fundamentals. Once you understand the fundamentals, then you understand that all these frameworks and languages and libraries are tools that you can use to solve a problem. Now, how you break down that problem and turn it into code that solves a problem, that's the skill. That's really what a developer does. A good foundations course is what's going to teach you that. Tutorials are just um, something I would do in very minimally, minimally in terms of the educational process. So if I was teaching somebody how to play music, I would teach them chords and notes and progressions and timing and scales and the different instruments. And then I would say, okay, uh, here's how, I don't know, this Amy Winehouse song was built. This is how this... Uh, 
this Beatles song was put together, et cetera, et cetera. And I do a few of those, not much more. And then you want to go out there and start making your own music. 